You want to melt those man boobs. I get that. I 100% get that. I remember the time before I got into fitness when I made that decision. The reason I made the decision to start working on my health, working on my fitness to drop fat, which led to me dropping around 100 pounds, it was because I walked past the mirror one day and the t-shirt I had on had sweat patches under my man boobs. It was horrible to see that. It was horrible to know when I took my t-shirt off, there was flabs underneath my pecs. It was horrible. There's no joking about it. I would leave my t-shirt on when I had sex. It was not a nice place to be. I want to make sure that after this video, you know what you can do to build up that confidence, to drop those man boobs, to drop that fat. Because there's a lot of conflicting information out there, especially within the fitness industry, especially when we add everyone's marketing tactics to it. I've just written an article on what really happens, how long you really have to wait, because what are the real stories behind those transformation pictures? Who really does know what went into those transformations? What can you really expect? Because I've had people lose 15 pounds in two weeks. But would I tell a client you're gonna lose 15 pounds in two weeks? No, there's a lot more to it than that. Here are three tips, three simple tips to dropping those man boobs and keeping them off for good. The first one, you're gonna have heard about it, is simply doing strength training, doing some hypotrophy work, doing some pretty decent rep numbers, some 10, 12, 16s getting some good sets in, getting some consistency and intensity into your sessions. Don't just hit chest all the time because then you'll end up drooped and really tight in the chest. You wanna hit your back. You wanna be able to pull those shoulders back to stand up tall because that will open up your shoulder girdle. From there, it will mean that you're standing taller, your pecs are gonna appear bigger in a good way. So get that strength training in. Three times, four times a week, good sessions, a good body weight split, a good body part split. However you need to do it, in the gym, at home, get those sessions in. The second one is consistency with your food. Yes, I know, I'm not really speaking rocket science, but there is no magic pill. Consistency with your food, getting good real food in, getting 80% of your food from sources that have potentially grown from the ground, ran around or walked around or just been alive. Single ingredient foods. And that other 20%, chill the fuck out. You can enjoy life. Don't stress too much about these estrogens in plastic bottles or anything like that because there's a lot more you can sort before even going down that route. Don't stress about blue right lights. Don't stress about your morning routine. Simply get the foundations in place first. Then we can look at these things to optimize. Then we can look at the minimal things that overwhelm everyone when they know there are other things they could be doing better in the first place. The third thing, the third thing, you've got strength training, you've got your nutrition, is get accountable. Don't just say you're gonna do something, actually do it. Tell people you're gonna do it. Hire a coach, tell your best friend to come to the gym with you, get a training partner. But accountability is the key. It's not some marketing buzzword or anything like that. You get results when you've got skin in the game. When you've got skin in the game, you take things a little bit more serious. Don't be this person that waits until it's too late before you look to improve your health. If you need to talk about this, then give me a shout. You can go on the website, revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. It's as simple as that. There's a few questions in there. I'll get back to you within 48 hours and we can have a chat. Don't ever think you can't afford to get your health in check because that is simply not the case. You're a busy person, cool, I wanna help you. 
You're committed? Cool, I want to help you. You're pissed off that the last three months you've not had the results that you wanted? The last four months, the last five months, the last six months? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. What do you want over these next three, four, five, six months? If it's something different, come and see me. Let's get you those results that you deserve.